on this brain-busting episode of the NES Pursuit. I just pretended like I picked this up. The OG collecting crew hits a 90s nostalgic wonderland with hopes of vintage victory. <laughs> Ricky couldn't be happier as this is his mecca of merchandise. So I found one of the one of the battling black lions. They're actually it's actually a pull toy, a pullback toy. It's beautiful. Riff makes a trade that is halted by NES Complex in an attempt to gain an NES treasure. I have a Probotector which is actually quite Whoa. Bad. The crew goes behind the black curtain where no shopper has been allowed before. Come on, Rick. All right, guys, dig through this box. Strap your saddlebags and be ready for Krang curiosity, goofy guys, barter buddies, and endless entertainment. This is the NES Pursuit. Early Nintendo, welcome to the Game Stubs. It's a beautiful morning. Today, we are going to a place down in Mission Hills, California called Toys of the Universe or Padawan Collectibles on Instagram. It's gonna be good. It's our buddy Tony. You've seen him in episodes before. He sold Gabo the Xbox sign, me the Sonic same clock. Booth. So same booth where Gabo just got this Xbox sign. There's, Riff showed me this. A Sonic the Hedgehog clock. A while ago, I reached out to Ricky and I was like, hey, I really want to go game hunting with NES Complex, me and you. Kind of the, the old school version of Retro That's Liberty awesome. way back in the day. And Ricky's like, I got a place, a buddy of ours. A while back that we met at an expo, he sold us some stuff for some good prices. He opened up a shop, so we got to go down there. So it's time to drive down. It's gonna be a rough day. My wife just shot us a text. I didn't know she was up right now, but OCC Swap Meet is officially opening back up July 3rd. So we finally get here to this place and we're excited. We're kind of parked in the back, not really sure which place it is because there's a different sign above that it has a different name. Is this it? I like that sign if it is. And if it's not his place, we're going there too. But we're kind of looking around. Are we at the right place? Are we at the right place? Collectible. But we don't know if we're here. We gotta go We look. don't know if we're here. Let's go Yeah, we do. We know we're here. Christopher. Okay. Oh boy. Christopher. Yeah. Christopher. <laughs> All right, come on. Guys, that was, just so you that, know, was, that was odd. Just so everyone knows, we go around to the front. I'll laugh if it's across the street. No, it's gotta be here. This has gotta be the place. There's stuff in the windows and we can see inside. We're like, oh, this is it. I'm guessing this is it. It's gotta be it. Yeah, this it's is it. it. You're parked in the right spot. So this is it. There's toys, there's collectibles, there's all sorts of stuff we like. We can see some games inside. It's time to officially go hunt. This is it. We're here. Complex is here. Thank God Complex is here. It just, it feels right. This feels right. Collectibles, vintage decor, novelties, clothes, media, toys, ETC, which stands for extraterrestrial coverage. Let's head in. Padawan Collectibles, Toys of the Universe. Here we go. Ricky and Complex, the way I like my men. I don't know what that means. <laughs> what is that? Chavo? Yeah, that's what it is. Wow. Love <laughs> the animated the design here that they can take a toy and make it look like the cartoon. That's awesome. I thought we crazy from just the thought of you. 
So we go in and the first thing we see is a giant Vader helmet and then there's some games over here and toys all in the center. There's all kinds of toys. He-Man, lots of He-Man, little wrestling figures. This just felt like a little bit of everything and that, no, not a little bit, like a lot of bit of everything. So we walk in and I kinda, in the corner of my eye, I get caught on the VHS. I see a few VHS tapes sealed. And at first I wasn't really looking at what was actually on the VHS tapes. I was just excited to see some sealed. So, oh, I, I saw that. I, I found I these, but then when I pulled it out, I see something that's familiar to me, but not super familiar. And I, I don't remember too much about Captain Power. I think, I think. And that's these Captain Power sealed VHS tapes. You've been chosen to become a member of the soldiers of the future. The resistance movement that we're working on. It was like a Canadian animated series, a little bit of CG. What these are is basically this was a show that aired in Canada from 1987 to 1988. And it was really unique because again, I'm not too well versed in this. And also I do know that they made toys as well. And I think there was even toys that you had to use in part of the, the VHS, like in a way to like, interact with the VHS and play with your toys at a certain time. But from what I remember is you interacted with this VHS tape a lot with these toys. And the way this would work is that you would hold some of these, you know, jets or whatever the toys may be up at the TV, almost like a zapper or a light gun. And you could kind of interact with the VHS and get points depending on your accuracy. He has three of these. I think it's skill the level skill level one, two, one, and, three. two and three. So for this to exist, was definitely, I wouldn't say so far ahead of its time, but it's something that looking back on as a kid, all yeah. sealed, five bucks each. Look. Five bucks, five bucks. So I, I think I'm gonna pick them up. I don't remember doing this type of thing with any sort of cartoon or show or anything where really your toys for use with Captain Power TV interactive accessories. Again, of course there was stuff where you had toys based on what you were watching, but to know your toys were interacting with the movie or the animated show, the CGI show with you. Believe it, short human. The power of the future is in your hands. Believe it. That was awesome. So to get all these for five bucks each, super good deal. I'm super happy. I desire this. <laughs> I yearn. Captain Power. And I'll be honest, even though they're sealed, gotta open these up to see if I can find some toys and play around with them in the future. Nice, Enid. I wet myself. Oh. <laughs> I think it's cool. <laughs> okay. Bins. He had a ton of bins. I was just dragging going through all these bins and I found one of the toys I've been looking for for the right price. All right, so this is probably one thing I am gonna buy. Dead Eye Duck from Bucky O'Hare. He was missing the guns, but honestly, I've actually been looking for it. I don't know, it makes me happy. It's, it's one of those things that you want to collect. It's one of the things I've been wanting to collect. Yeah, I have Bucky yeah. with his blaster, so all I need are the blasters. But for five bucks, not bad. And finally found one, I guess not in the wild, but at a store for a decent price. It was beautiful, it's nice, and now I just need Blinky. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm standing there and Ricky's going through stuff looking at Dead Eye Duck and then he sees Gauntlet. Oh, How cool is that? If you don't want that, how much is that? Five for the ti a tiger handheld version of Gauntlet. And you know, let's face it. Well, you know what? Today's your lucky day because I really think you should get it. The uh, game itself is not nearly as good as the artwork. And really, you buy these things to display them. Like, I've tried to show people what these look like and they. Uh, they run in terror. I actually just got a Gauntlet game yesterday, too. It actually looks like it might be a pretty fun handheld. I just pretended like I picked this up, but Ricky just gave it to me a minute ago when I was standing up, and now I'm on the ground pretending I found it. But Gauntlet, actually the game is kind of interesting. It's an, like a 3D isometric perspective, and you're kind of walking around the maze. It actually looks like it might be a pretty fun handheld. It's also missing a battery, battery cover. 
But it does have a dinosaur and Mr. Snappy Pants, so that might make it more fun. I don't need a battery cover. I'm joking. It's only gonna, the front will be shown, and that's all. This is my favorite part. No battery cover. But I'm definitely looking at it to display it for sure. One of the battling black lions. They're actually, it's actually a pull toy, a pullback toy. It's beautiful. I don't know. Can you see the legs over there? Yeah. That's the plastic one. It's missing the wing thing. It's one of those things you don't see, so I had to pick it up. It's Voltron, and I'm not going to say no to it. Voltron at an affordable price. Come on. I got the newer ones, but that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a good idea. Do you still have a problem all these years later? Oh, heck yeah. Nice. Admitting it's the first step towards Keep Spiral. LJN Toy. If you admit it, you don't have to quit. <laughs> Come a little closer. Let her rip, baby. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That was it cool. just battles the sidewalk. <laughs> Yeah, he actually labeled a box for you. <laughs> That's for you. Sorry, we're closed. Uh oh. What's up, guys? We're closed, bro. What's going on, everyone? I'm Tony. Uh, my partner is actually somewhere over there, but. We're actually, uh, I am the owner, uh, co-owner of Toys of the Universe. Um, we've been open for uh, about a month and a half now, actually. So, uh, we're actually located in Mission Hills, California, uh, right off of the 405, uh, across the street from a beautiful Target, actually. When you're hunting for nostalgic things or nostalgic items, it's really, for me, more exciting not to go with any sort of, like, idea of what I want to get, per se. It's just what catches your eye, and this was the definition of catching my eye. Ricky was looking in a bin, and I saw behind him something that said the Flintstones, so I was automatically into wanting to check it out. He wants the Flintstones to bed. Was a Flintstones cassette, Viva Rock Vegas, basically a little read-along. Ricky found this earlier. Oh, actually, I found it, but it was where Ricky was digging, and we've said before, as a kid, you read along with these kind of things, well, it gives you all the sounds and the feels that you're really there. A Viva Rock Vegas, which I think was a 2000 Flintstones movie. Not my favorite, I like collecting more of the old, old school Flintstone stuff, but I still like the display of Flintstone stuff that I have going on, and this is. And I gotta admit, even as an adult, I remember listening to a Lion King one of these with my kids, and I was like, wow, this is actually a great, like, visual mind way to kind of see what the, they're trying to portray in a book, for a guy like me to just hear it, my brain, it works wonders in my brain, and I like these things. Open the book and you read right along with it, it reads it to you, it's got sound effects, a lot of times these things have original character voice samplings going on while you're reading it. Yeah, Barney's right, let's get this started, what do we have to rub? Clearly, this was not going to be an easy mission for Gazoo. Now look here, I am not some sort of friendly cartoon genie. I don't do funny voices, I don't sing catchy songs, and I do not possess a magic carpet for your big bloated behinds to float up on! This is a great tool for learning. I might have to open this again too. I'm finding things today that I might just want to open because I'm finding things that I actually want to play with, if you could call it that. Chris, Complex, you're a teacher. Mm -hmm. Do you think this would help a child's brain? Or make it worse because it's reading for them? I think it would help your brain. I think you should try it. Reading, you said it's not your strongest thing. It's not. So Viva Rock Vegas, I mean this is, sh shoot me up and call me Elvis Presley and slap me on the tootie because I'm gonna lay, as far as I got, I don't know what else to say. That is really cool. That's really creepy too. Like, it is disturbing. That's beyond creepy. <laughs> wow. Then I 
look in the case and there weren't a whole lot of Nintendo games there, but lately I've been really into the oldest Nintendo stuff and the five screw games. I believe there's 96, it might be 94, there's 90 something of them, but there are only so many that were ever five screw. Pro Wrestling, Amazon, Starman, King Slender, that other guy, and the other, other guy. And Pro Wrestling is one of them. So I have Pro Wrestling, I think, you know, a lot of us do. But this was like the sixth game that I ever got for Nintendo. But the five screw edition, I did not have. So to see that and only for three dollars, this one is special because if you look closely, there's a little bit of a smudge right there. So I got it now. You thought I was gonna say something else, didn't you? Pro wrestling is one of the... <laughs> He's playing with his toys. What are you doing? Action. <laughs> I think what was cool about pro wrestling is that it kind of had that same Mike Tyson over the top characters. Obviously they weren't as animated as they are in Punch Out, but they still had like these personalities, like the Amazon gnawing on your head. But it was really cool. So again, just to get that five screw edition, early Nintendo, welcome to the game stuff. I tried to steal that Nintendo sign. Earlier. Oh yeah? He, oh no. He walked outside with it and that is not I had to run and catch him and tell him that, to not That's steal. going to the grave with me. So I don't normally bring trade to many places, but this place when Ricky was showing me his place online and what it looks like on Instagram, I was like, I feel like I'd have some stuff that he would like. So I bring in some trade. Uh, nothing crazy, just a couple things to help kind of upgrade. What I brought, I brought was a Sega Genesis because I have so many of them now. Uh, I have a Genesis. I have a couple controllers that I brought. Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic 2, Earthworm Jim. Some pretty good ones. Uh, Sonic oh, and nice. Knuckles, Definitely. Earthworm Jim, and a Bucky O'Hare figure that actually has his gun. I, I mean, I'm interested in the whole thing, dude. Like, cool. I'm always a Sega Genesis fan. And also, Probotector, which is Contra down here. Ooh, man. I have Probotector, which is actually pretty good. Whoa. Nice. Now he's kind of looking through a lot of this trade, and I'm like, hey, to be honest, <laughs> yeah, this stuff, you can kind of poke around at it and you don't have to make it. I trust you, you're a good dude. Let me know a little later what I can get for this. But while I'm saying this, I could see NES Complex genuinely be like, uh oh, I was going to ask you about that seriously when we were uh -oh. talking yesterday. kind of wanted Probotector and did you really want Probotector? I really did. I almost mentioned it to But are you going to offer me trade for it in here? Yeah, oh, you want Probotector? I actually have been thinking for a while that I wanted to get Probo Probotector. I actually thought he was joking at first but then I kind of peeked back a couple times after talking to Tony and I was like oh I think he really does want this. You can have Probotector. Well I can have from well, the well. <laughs> and so when he put that down, I'm like, wait a second! I interrupted getting the the shots to shout over the camera, like, hey, dude, don't get, don't sell that, don't trade that. I want that. You're, you're welcome <laughs> to trade me for it, then give it to him, <laughs> or I could buy it from you. Yeah, no, it's all good. I trade you cash. And I know Chris, it's very pristine. The Probotector is very, very clean. So I know he had to have it in my games room. Soon it'll be. We in came mine. up with that one time on one of our shows. I didn't really care. We kind of talked about numbers and really we just ended up saying grab me a burger or something. I love I love Mr. Riff. He's a good man. And so he was he was able to do a deal with me for a hamburger. So that's kind of how we figured it out. That's how friends do it. But I'm happy because I got trade waiting and also Complex got some goodies for himself. Contra in Spanish means against. Whoa. Does it really? <laughs> yeah, it really does. Contra. So uh, this location actually used to be called Gone Pickin'. Uh, so if you locate, uh, if you, if you see the uh, the top part of the actual sign, it says Gone Pickin' Collectibles. And then we have that little teeny weeny sign right there that says Toys of the Universe. Basically, they're still technically here, just selling online on maxsoul.com. And we're handling the operations in the front of the store. So, so we're talking with Tony, and as you watch any show anywhere, like the American Pickers, you want to dig, you want to yeah. find something different. He's like, 
I got somewhere to show you guys, but you can't technically dig here because it's not technically theirs. All right, so this isn't technically part of your store. No. This is the dungeon. That's the dungeon, that's what we call it. It's a back room. With a curtain. With a curtain. Behind the magic curtain, what would it be? What was behind It's a the mystery. We won't, we won't dig through stuff, I promise. Come on, Rick. All right, guys, dig through this box. Okay, fine, all right, we don't have a problem with that. If we knock a lot of stuff over, is that okay? Ricky! That means you bought it. Yeah. yeah. It was haphazardly put there. I don't know if there was any organizational structure, but that's the fun stuff. When you don't know what you're gonna find, that's the fun stuff. It's a lot of the same type of stuff. Like back here, you have a lot of small soldiers. Oh, nice. Apparently, they like co-own this building and they might wanna take over that back part for now, but it's like an online right. store. But it was their stock and, so, oh, oh wow, look at this. I mean, I don't know. This is cool. I was just talking about that. Wow, that's really cool. Tales from the Crypt Keeper. Tales from the Crypt. Did you know that the guy who does the voice of the Crypt Keeper is the same guy in the Zelda commercial? By the guy who's like, Tyke Tyke Weaver. Oh, yeah. I wish I yeah. hate the way that guy says it in that, in yeah. that commercial. But, but I love that's the, tales. the Crypt Keeper. Even though we couldn't buy anything from there, I got to admit, there was quite a few things yeah. that we liked in there. A lot of toys Ninja Turtles poster, Ninja Turtles 3 poster. Look at this. Wow. Complex, I know it's probably hard to see, but this is a Ninja yeah. Turtles 3. Comic books. The mask. Yep. Mm. Smoke it. But the back area was cool. And we couldn't get anything. I know. So are we allowed to buy stuff from back there? Uh, on the website. If you see something on the website, his son is more than happy to sell it, or you can pick it up here. God, okay, good to know. I but that's okay, it. that's okay, because the front of the shop had amazing things too. Yeah, there's some cool stuff back here. Jeff Goldblum, some Ninja Turtles, some masks, Dragon Ball stuff, oh, look at this, cool. Mighty Morphin Power, Wild Force. I don't think I did Wild Force. Different things, displays, McDonald's stuff. That's the oh. most boring TV show I've ever seen. Look at that banner. I just, I just did it. You guys oh, watched it now. Dang. A McDonald's history video. Yeah. No, but it's time to leave the back of the shop and go back to the front. Let's see if we find anything else before we tap out and buy. Oh, we will. Supersonic gold, though. That's supersonic. Ooh, hold on to the jam. Hold on to that. <laughs> what are you saying? What is happening? Ow, you hurt my thigh. Nice. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Close your eyes. When they went to all these weird sellers and stuff, started feeling kind of Fisher Price to me. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean. I never yeah. got into Predator King. And look at that guy. I mean, that that barely qualifies. We come out of the back room, and I'm like, all right, I want to find something else. Maybe a few more things, but I'm feeling something else. Pee Wee's Color Forms playset, and it's like clockwork. I see something obvious, apparent that I'm gonna want. This is a lock-in for sure, and it's a 1987. Color form, Pee Wee's Playhouse style set in the box, looking good. Pee Wee's Color Form Playset, basically check this out. So, I mean, it's basically stickers, let's just be honest. So back in the day, puffy stickers, color forms, whatever you wanted to call them, was uh, something you would play with. Back in the day, it was almost like a sticker type thing, more, to, more of a static adhesive, I would say, where you can reuse them. It's like static keeps it on. It's not a sticker. It's, a, it's not sticking at all now. It's yeah. a color form. It was Wait, it helps better if you use glue yeah. or, if you, or if you lick it. It's like a little playset background where you could take the little color forms, stick them on, and make your different little displays that you want to play with. Actually, it is sticking now. There you go. Yay. Yay. It's because I licked it. I have adhesive saliva. Wow. Some milk. To be honest, with Pee Wee's branding on the front, the beautiful colors on the front, the 1987 logo on there, but it's in the box, only a few stickers or color forms are down there, uh, but it's in the box. It's pretty, it's big, like I say, and it's Pee Wee Herman, Paul Rubin. I'm good. I had to buy myself a little Pee Wee color form. I almost said chloroform every time I was just now thinking about it, and it took me in a lot to not say it. And this is, this is pre-jail Pee Wee. 
<laughs> so with nothing on the back, anything like that, but it has the writing not from any, not from like Pee Wee's Big Adventure or his movies, but this is the writing and the font from Pee Wee's Playhouse. Because chl chl chloroform is much more expensive. I buy it all the time. Bricky and I, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. How many times have we probably seen that together? For real. I don't know, dude. Probably. At least 60? I'd say that. That and Kung Pao we probably watched about the same amount of time. Oh, Kung Pao, I think we watched it every night. For every night years. we'd fall asleep to it. Chlorophyll, more like Borophyll. <laughs> <laughs> Some color forms to chloroform to color, what, chlorophyll? Chlorophyll. Oh, there we go. Chlorine. <laughs> Looking like a million man, million dollar man. A million man? I know I messed up. A million dollar man. <laughs> <laughs> a million man? So I got some of my trade value in from Tony. He tells me the price, it's about 80 bucks, and I'm like, okay, you know what? I have like a little bit left over. More than I was thinking left over. And I was looking around and I was like, I could buy something for myself, sure. I have 45 left. Oh, dang. From my trade. 45 bones? And this is 45. So this is the leftover. Okay. He's doing his trade and, and he's like try, he's like, I got a certain amount of money I can I can trade. And he only had a little stack of stuff. And so he's looking around, I need something else that costs $45. And so he finds this thing and it's like, wow, that's cool. I was looking at that. That's that's got that, that uh cartoon look too. Yeah. Oh ho ho ho. Look at baby shredder. <laughs> is like a brain with little flippers and my logo is a brain I've always thought like if I ever do a Ninja Turtle video that I would put Krang on a Nintendo so I'm like I have this I'm drawn to Krang right and so I had no idea that he was thinking this but he's like and I also want to get this $45 but I was like you know what? I haven't seen complex in a while well we haven't done a official NES pursuit with him in a while earlier he was looking at this Krang this NECA Krang he was telling us earlier how much he loves the the outlines on these NECA characters on the the black outlines make them look like actual animations what the animated the design here that they could take a toy and make it look like the cartoon that's awesome so I was like you know what with the rest of the money I'm given this I'm gonna just take it and give it to NES complex that's a really sweet neck for you. it's cool Watch what open it. I'm open it for you no, you're not. Yes, I am. Open the window. See how Why awesome would you do that? that? Because. But then he turns to me, but for NES Complex. And I couldn't believe it. I was looking at that just a few minutes before, considering the purchase myself. I have 45 left over in trade, and I picked the stuff that I really wanted, and I saw you eyeing this earlier, and I saw that you liked it, so. But he blew my socks off. Riff, you're a good man. You're, you're a brother. Appreciate it. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Do it in the dungeon. No, man, that's it. Dude, that's you, thank man. you so much. <laughs> yeah, I saw you eyeing, and it is really cool. Uh, something like this, I think it's cool. I know you think it's that cool. That is really cool. It makes me happy that I can give it can give it to you. Wow. So, enjoy, Dude. man. So, it's all yours, Complex. Enjoy. I am glad you have it, and it's good to have you back. Woo. Right on, dog. We missed you on the show, so that's, uh. a, that's a welcome back. Even though we've had you on little things here and there, but this is a... Official, good to well, be back. Well, thank you, sir. Yeah. Did you, you have a Krang impression one last time? Well, Krang, when Krang talks, basically he's just really high pitched. He's almost Starscream, and then at the end he burps. That's kind of basically what he does. I don't even know. <laughs> That's just what he does. I don't even know what I'm doing. They are in inflated pot polyps on your anus. <laughs> Cut oh, that. Chris, I got that. <laughs> and I put myself in situations. You know what Crisscross does? Makes you jump, 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 jump. jump. Alright, so another thing I saw that Mort also has, and I, I've, I've been want, I don't know why I want it. It's like a kid robo stick of truth Cartman. So I always see this at Mort's house, and I always, always want it. And why I want it, I can't even explain right now. I just, I saw it, and I saw the price, and I was like, you know what? It's Cartman from Stick of Truth. <laughs> I'm gonna get that for myself because I love it. I have to, it's 
dude, it's iconic, it's awesome, it's, I deserve it. So Scuzzlebutt is the monster that they find that has a piece of celery for a right hand and the left, his left leg is nothing but Patrick Duffy. Hi kids, I'm TV's Patrick Duffy. Quick and <laughs> Were you offended, bro? No, I, dude, there's no reason to get it. What? <laughs> Nuclear. It's pronounced Nuclear. <laughs> we grew up watching South Park. How are we offended? <laughs> Well then, on the counter, there was a Nintendo. So my current Nintendo, um, the, the red lettering is all coming coming off, and you know, for all my videos and everything. An NES, beautiful, clean. It wasn't yellow. The lettering on the front was red and beautiful and intact. Yeah. Um, it's just not very presentable, and this has a better coloring. Mine is uh, mine's got that um, yellow. <laughs> what do we call it? <laughs> what do you call it? Oh, yellow. Yeah, it's just yellow. Uh, the door opened with a little bit of tightness, like as if it hadn't been used hardly at all. And I would really, really, really wanted to get an NES. That was actually one of my goals. I have actually several NESs, but they're not that super clean. Whatever. Is that what we There's use? There's ways to clean them. You soak it in pool acid? No, I know. I'm just kidding. It's not pool acid. Yeah, you put it outside in the sun with the hair product. And uh, I need one that's really good for filming. This is the one, this is it. This is the one that will be in the videos from now on. And it will also be on the table. Well, it's a table where I have my NES connected to the TV and that's also where it will be. I have an NES complex. So what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to say? But now it is mine and I'm happy. My complex is a little bit more satisfied. It's pretty nice. It's it's cute. It's clean. Rifo, what does NES stand for? Uh, nipples extra sexy. <laughs> really? Yeah. How do you say sparkly in Spanish? It's sparkly with an E. Wow. You just put an E in there? Just add an E and A and I that's don't... it. Yep. Really? Yeah. NES? That doesn't seem very Nintendo friendly. Well, back you see it was different because when Shigeru Miyamoto was first uh, breastfeeding, <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> I was gonna go too far. I'm not going anywhere. Something will never get just like the movies. Something I've never felt. Well, now we do our world to sit to something else. What a great time it was at Toys of the Universe, otherwise known as Padawan Collectibles. Just with the buddies, just hanging out. We were talking about this the whole time in between filming while we were there. It just feels so good to be with our buddies. And again, I know it's stupid, but we haven't really hung out with Complex in a while, like in a setting like this. And oh yeah, 20 bucks on that. I'll just take this for trade for it. <laughs> as much as we are friends beyond the camera, we started being friends through YouTube and kind of hunting together. And but today I'm on my way to meet Phineas Complex doing all this stuff together. So to just be back as, again, no shame or shade on anybody, but like us three just felt really vintage, nostalgic for us because years ago we met and this is what we did together. And we're just brothers. We have more things in common than all of you guys would think way beyond just video game stuff. So it felt so good to be there, surrounded by cool company, cool friends. So Ricky, wait, wait. oh okay, don't worry, yeah, I can have hold on, wait, let me see, can I just get inside? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, it's funny that we're now at this point where we have nostalgia, like we, get, we did all this YouTube thing based on nostalgia, and now we're having nostalgia about the nostalgia. Sega, wait, what? Sega? Why would you say go? <laughs> and we're getting together and making these videos and it's reminding us of earlier times when we did this almost 10 years ago. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> come on in. Oh, okay. Hey, what's up? Come on in. My doorbell's broken and when he pushed it, it only did the first half of the ding. We're still waiting for the dong. We're gonna be back here sometime again with a lot of trade because this place was awesome. So sayonara. But it's always great to see the guys and I'm looking forward to coming back again sometime and <laughs> Bye. See you guys. I like this story. It has a lot of the stuff that, like, unique stuff. It's not like the random stuff you'd see. It's a. Uh, 
I don't know. I've seen a lot of stuff in there that I've never seen before. Like, uh, and would... they had a lot of everything, it seemed. Yeah. And that kind of place has all the weird, all the loose. I mean, Kiwi Herman stuff, Flintstone stuff, uh, stuff I like. I was able to get Chris something. Ricky found stuff he liked. People were nice. Super cool, super super happy we came here. Only an hour from us, that's not too far. And remember, nipples extra sexy on your pizza. Call it burger. What do you want? You're filming still. Damn. I don't want to damage either one of these things, so I'm kind of staying like that's this. That's a good human right there, look at that. Spread in so that the things don't get dead. What? No, that guy. <laughs> so, it might be. Isn't, isn't that the ingredient you actually soaked it in? With we your cousin laughing every single day. We slept in the same bed, let me be honest. You know, the Ninja Turtles ate it, and see what happened to them. It, well, actually, they became really cool. <laughs> Eat slime. Oh, very funny. From very Riff. Funny. Very Riffle. Al Gabo. Flashback. The clock. I could soak it in some like pool acid or something, whatever. That's my that's my secret maneuver. I hurt thighs. It's beautiful. Look at him. Oh. It's called the thyroid. The thigh spasm. It's called the thyroid. <laughs> that's not a good thing, is it? No. It's like hemorrhoids on your thigh. Ricky has hemorrhoids. What are Poor Ricky. That man out. And we don't eat like that very often. But that's what happened. <laughs> that's why we bring him along. It's really beautiful. <laughs> what next? Can I stop by your house? <laughs> Here we go. You know what song? California. We've been on the run, driving in the sun, looking up for number one. <laughs> nice zoom. Nice zoom out. Stinky blinky, stinky blinky. Nice, Ricky. I feel so short. Did you want me to be on the floor so you'd feel taller than yeah. me? Ricky, you, normally... you ever shop on a PlayStation eShop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. So. <laughs> I like it. I found a black, one of the black, black ah. <laughs> we heard it from him, Pastor Chris. We keep pushing when we pull and pulling when we're supposed to push. As he's cleaning, we're walking with wet feet. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> on the pixel game, people. <laughs> <laughs> You know, can you beat five bucks? You could beat five dollars, not even bright out. Why are you making fun of me? We're wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Don't be cool. You oh, we're still going? You look so cool right now. I'd bro. try. Wait, this is even, this is, this is better. Damn. This is European. Oh, that is European. That is a bit more European. Toys of the universe. I'm gonna do this whole thing over. All right, let's go. Nice. <laughs> Who would have thought to make Mario dispenser cups? What's that from? Got you slippery. Got you slipper. I like that even better. Got you slipper. Come on. So I've loosened up the tight jeans a little bit. It's a big statement here on the show today. Here we go now. The ghettoer, the betterer. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. That's great. That's a good one. I thought you were gonna say the ghettoer, the betterer. I was like, that'd be a good one. Finally, it is now to me. Right and crap, there's not, there's not, like that. He's our hero. It's like Captain Nintendo Power, but you take Nintendo out of it. And Captain Planet. And then it's just Captain Power. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna happen multiple times. Let's redo this, ready? <laughs>